All right, I got a broken bail on my Husqvarna TS242XD, okay? And uh, I've got to do, the first thing I've got to do is, uh, we're gonna lower the deck all the way to the lowest setting. You wanna make sure you have your parking brake on, which is here, parking brake. You put in, you push in your brake, you lock in your uh, parking brake, so that's locked in, this thing won't roll around, and you're ready to go, okay? If you don't know your part number for the belt you need to order, well, you lift your bonnet or hood here, lift it up, you'll go right here to this plate here, and mine is the primary mower belt, which is 587-270101 for the deck belt. The other ground drive belt, the 592855201 there, that one is the belt that actually turns your wheels in the back through the transmission. And uh, let's see if I can give you a view of it. It's kind of hard to see here. There it is. You see that belt up there? Now that's, a, now that's another different world there. When I come to that point and replacing that, I'll make a video on it. But right now, all I'm doing is changing the deck belt. Okay, now on this one here, you're going to have to re remove these mandrel covers here. And I already took this one off. And uh, you just take these bolts out here and here. And there's one on the other side. I'll show you in just a second here. And they're 3 8 drive, just 3 8 ratchet drive. Take them out, put your uh, cover and your bolts in a safe place on the side. Okay, and also on your deck, you have a pattern of how you put the belt on. So just in case you don't know, you don't, you don't know, you don't can't find your book or whatever, there it is. Okay, so let's go over here. We'll look at the other mandrel, mandrel cover. This one's already un unbolted, but it's real easy to take out. Here's your bolts, bolts, mandrel cover. Okay, put them somewhere on the side safe, 3 8 drive socket for that uh, removal of these two bolts on both sides and the mandrel cover. Now we're gonna go to the next part here. The next part is the this, uh, it's called the um, pulley guard, okay? And it has a nut. And this nut right here, if you can see it. All right, you loosened it up. It's five eighths, five eighths. And you'll take that off of a socket. You won't need an extender on that one. And you'll just lift this thing up like that. And it comes up. Just make sure that you know it goes in the little plate on the other side. I'll show you on the other side real quick here. When you're putting it back in, there's a little hole there. As you can see the hole. I'll try to put it in for you here so you can see it in the video. Okay. You just line it up over the, 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 the bolt shaft. You drive it through the hole there and you're in. Then you just tighten it back up, put your nut back on, tighten it back up, and that's when you put it back on. It's pretty easy, okay? Now you want to remove the spring from the eye bolt. Try to give you the best angle possible I can give you. Okay, there's this. There's that pulley, and there's that uh, where we took that bar out of there with the, the five eighths nut. Now you just follow the spring from there, and this is the reason why you take out that uh, that bar is because it's now going to let this move freely. So all you have to do is just pull this in this direction. Let's see if I can point my finger this direction. You're just gonna pull it with your hands away from the eye bolt. Let's see if I can get a good shot of the eye bolt there. There's the eye bolt, it's all covered grass. That's the next stage here we gotta clean. But you just take that eye bolt out, I mean the uh, spring from the eye bolt, and just set it to the side, and there you go. Now you don't have any more tension on the system. There's a better angle there. So you just, uh, let me just do it again here. Push it in, pull it, and boom, it'll come right out. Okay, I kind of blocked up my hand there, but I think you get the idea of taking the spring off. Just set it on the side, there it is, it's all loose now. So when you put your bolt on, guide it through the pattern, which I showed you on the front of the deck here, you'll make sure that you follow your pattern, hook it up to your uh, your clutch pulley there. There's your clutch pulley right there in the middle. And uh, uh, it's gonna be pretty easy. Now the next step in this is pretty easy. You need to clean your deck off as best as you can. Uh, try to get it all off as much as you can with your hands and then use a brush. And then uh, if you can use canned air, get that in there and get this deck cleaned off as best as possible. That's what I'm gonna do next here. Okay, I've got my deck cleaned off as best as I could get it, okay? And uh, I use my leaf blower after I, I wiped it all down really good. I just used my leaf blower and got most of the grass off as best as possible. It's really super clean than, what, than it was. So give that a try. Uh, and now I'm just gonna put the bolt, I mean the, uh, the belt back on with the pattern that is shown in the picture here. And then uh, I'm gonna start tightening everything back up and show you the results. All right, I got the belt back on, 
and I also got the pulley back on, the spring pulley, uh, for, on the eye bolt. Now, how to do this one is I'm going to show you right now. You're going to, when you put your belt on, you're going to ring it all the way through and make sure it's all good. And then you're going to go on the right side of the tractor, or we call it the passenger side. There's no passenger, but the passenger side of the tractor on the uh, deck here. You're going to take off this belt, just this belt on this side, to up to this bolt here. Just let it sit. Then you're going to connect the spring to the eyelet first. Then you're going to pull back on this assembly here with your right hand. And with your left hand, you're just going to route the pulley in and keep pulling this as far as you can until you get this back on. That is the easiest way to put it back on. I was using a brake tool. I tried everything. I've lifted it up on ramps the whole bit, trying to figure out how to get it on. That is the simplest way. I'll explain it one more time. You have to connect the spring back to the eye bolt first. After you take this part, you don't put this back on, on this pulley, this pulley right here. You're gonna make sure that belt part is off. Everything else is routed on. You're gonna put the spring on, onto the eye bolt. Then you're going to pull back on this tensioning assembly here. And then you're going to reroute this back on, the belt back on this one pulley. And it's quite easy. It's just a, it's just a <laughs> quick as can be. So easy. I had to figure that out. There was no uh, instruction on that. It's a bummer, but at least I, I could tell you here on YouTube. So, you know, all right, now we're going to move on to the next part. Now you're going to put back on the, uh, the pulley guard, the pulley guard here, this piece here, the pulley guard back on, like I showed you before, we'll do it again. Okay. You're just going to route it over to that nut there or that bolt there, the bolt part. Then you're gonna put the nut back on. I got the nut in my hand right here. It's a locking nut. You wanna make sure you uh, put it on correctly. Let me show you the top. You know, the beveled part on the top should be on the top, the flat part on the bottom. It's a locking nut. And get it, get it started threaded here. Okay, All right, there we go. And then it's a quick, quick nine sixteenth ratchet or, or boxed in wrench put it back on i'm gonna do that real quick and then move on to the mandrels okay putting the uh, mandrel cover back on on both sides three eight socket pretty easy just put the bolts back in first hand thread them as best you can nothing's perfect in this world okay the other side they may be a little rusty because uh they're on the bottom of the deck also so they get exposed really not much you can do about that but once you get these tightened back on the uh, right and left side and then you can test the mower all right let's check out our work now everything's put back together and uh, let's fire it up see what's going on here there we go we're gonna fire the blades up Looks like everything's good to go. Good luck, God bless, and works for me.